he's definitely got some tools. And Lindsey Scott can run it as well, and he runs right up the middle for a first down. To date since he's been here. Third down and four. Nichols has been recently very good on third downs, and they were good right there. A first down, as that is David Mosley. In 2019, they had a need for him at tight end this year, so he moved back to tight end, and this is a great run by Julian Gums as he picks up the first down into Lamar territory. For Lamar, they've got six players in there, two deep that are freshmen, though, in the front end. Scott on third down runs it, and Scott is inside the five. Touchdown, Colonels! Lindsey Scott from 33 yards. Down at 15. And Scott will zip one across the middle, wide open. Devontae Jason into Lamar territory. Finally brought down. You see players hooking up there. Jason was once with Mississippi State. Now here's Tevin Bush, and Tevin Bush inside the 20, showing those nifty moves all the way to the 11. Another big play for Nichols offensively. Four. So on third down, Scott looking deep towards the end zone. Double coverage, it doesn't matter. Touchdown, Colonels, K.J. Franklin. But he says this group has been very eager to learn, and they love practicing and competing. And as a coach, there's nothing more you can ask for. Jeff? Dume's pass down the right sidelines, a little bit too far for the intended receiver. Phil, but Lindsey Scott doesn't seem to be faced by that at all. Running the football this time for the Colonels is Troy Hurst. And, Troy and ended up winning the NJCAA championship as Lindsey Scott runs for the first down there. Tevin Bush in motion, gets the football. Tevin Bush bangs his way to the 28-yard line. Backfield with Scott. Scott stands in that pocket wide open, and there's Hurst. Touchdown, Colonels. Touchdown pass for the Colonels from Lindsey Scott. Colonels has, Jeff, I, I don't see any holes here in this offense. No, nope, you don't. Scott now having to run away from the pressure, got away from Phillips, and then he ends up still completing the pass. Power. K.J. Franklin having a big game, just caught his fourth pass, and finally, Dejon Dixon gets his first grab of the ball game, and he picks up a first down. Little razzle-dazzle coming back the other way. Dantes Costly, Costly inside the five. Anthony Ruffin knocked him out of bounds. Another first down for Nichols. We're definitely on Dejon Dixon. Gums bounces off the tackler and into the end zone. Third and 13, excuse me. Jalen Dume, quick pass. It's complete, and nothing happening there for Chaz Ward. Lindsey Scott on third down and six. Scott scrambling and he's got the first down. Yeah, just to be with what he's done with his feet. Scott quickly gets rid of it and what a great open field move there. That's Julian Gums on the outside as a wide receiver slap. Lamar rushes four. Scott's got room to run. Scott, <laughs> that's unfair. <laughs> gets the first down to the 26 yard line. On ESPN, Scott looking to his left. Wide open there is Devontae Jason. Jason inside the 10 before he's hammered by Tyler Jackson. He just missed his intended receiver there. He runs straight up the middle here. Touchdown, Lindsey Scott. Second time he's rushed into the end zone. Julian Gubbs out there as well. And Gubbs will get a carry right up the middle for a first down. And Gubbs up to the 50-yard line. Scott, pressure, gets away from it, looking downfield, throws across his body for a first down and more. Inside the 10, to the goal line, touchdown, Dantes Costly. Touchdown, Colonels from Lynn. Dume play action fake, look out. Gets away from the initial defender, but not the second one as Tyree Evans continues to have a terrific day. He said, wow, I guess you're right. I said, so I, I take it that wasn't on purpose. And coach said, no, we've just gotten lucky with the older brothers loving the program and the younger brothers just wanting. Pick Cage there. We just saw John Carrington get his first carry. We just saw Carrington get his second carry. First and 10 at the 39. Scott fakes the pitch. You said he wanted to get over 100 yards rushing. He's over 100 yards rushing. 
I think he could call it a day now as he got up to the 24 yard line. Second down and five. Hurst inside the five. Man, is this kid. Scott in trouble. Scott looking for the end zone, splits two defenders. As he continues to build on what has been a highlight performance today. Okay. Second down and four. Grandier completes, and there's Dejon Dixon, who's been really quiet today, which he's a guy that uh, a lot of the other players really look up to. Guggenheim, Guggenheim breaking free all the way to the 10 yard line. Getting a chance to carry it is John Carrington, who bounces it to the outside and into the end zone. Look at the scoring, you say, oh man, 55 to nothing. Lamar must have coughed the ball up a few times. That has not been the case, as Dume's gonna get snowed over there. But if you just take that little square, or I guess that geography, as this is Guggenheim. Almost got the first down, they may give it to him. Understands it's gonna take a lot of work. Scott loses the football, and then he'll go down to the turf. Zach Bernard. Scott throws, and that should be a first. Whoa, big time hit there. Coach Tim Rebo and his Colonels team, very impressive. Output by his offense, defense, really a, a great team effort to defeat this Lamar football team.